In Advanced Studio, columns are placed in at a default height that's defined inside the management tools. But you do know that you could place them in by using the levels commands from the Project Explorer. In here, for example, if I just place the column in, I can select the column and then place it in. It'll come in at whatever the default height is from the management tools, which is typically 16 feet. Here from the Project Explorer, I'm going to set two levels. I'll begin with the ground. And I'll set one level at eight feet. And I'll set another level at 16 feet. And now I'm going to place in a column in between these separate levels. So let me just deactivate that. And you'll see now that I have these levels generated, you can always visualize these up to eight feet or between eight and 16 feet. But to actually place or control the column height, you can come down to work planes near the bottom. And you can select where you want your columns to come in, between level zero, between level one and two, whatever the case may be. I'll reset that. In here, I'll pick the bottom one, and I'll say bottom is gonna be at zero, and I'll say the top is gonna to be at level one. I'll come out to my column now, pick the same tool, and you can see that I get the column just between level zero and one. If I reset this, and I say, now I want this to go between level one and level two, level one being the bottom to the top. I can now come in and do the exact same thing again. And you'll see it'll place the column in between level one and two. So very quickly, very easily, especially if you're using levels already, you can use these levels to control your column heights.